So high above us hangs the saddle full of money waiting to be won in this year's rodeo. But before we continue, I would like to thank Senior Prido and the members of his farm for joining us this year. I'm sure Excuse they... Excuse me, sir. Uh, Sorry, but shouldn't we start the rodeo now, sir? You have been talking for over half an hour. Yeah, everyone is so excited that Senor Prido is also putting money in the barrel. There must be a fortune in there. Oh, yeah. fortune. Well, um, uh, 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 uh mm. Rodeo! 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 Okay, everybody, Rodeo. I guess my speech is boring you. I get the message. Well, let the rodeo begin. <laughs> Getting any supper if you fall? What? I can't hear. Lolita thinks so little of me, she won't even watch. It's terrible to have to pretend to be a coward to hide who I really am. Well, all right. Just this once, I'll show you. Uh, uh. Well done. Yes, bravo, my brave son. Well done. Yes, and perhaps one day your brave son will marry my daughter, Lolita. Whoa. What do you mean, he'll marry me? Uh, I'll marry Lolita? There's only one man in the world I want to marry, Father, and he isn't even here right now. Huh? Well, who is this man? Zorro, of course. Whoa! Diego! Oh, help me! Somebody! Somebody help me, please! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Diego, look at you. Now you've got the cold. I couldn't help it. Uh, what are you going to do about Lolita, Diego? She didn't look very impressed. Well, who can blame the poor girl, Bernard? How could you possibly let the family name of the Vega down like that? Hey, take it easy, Maria. I tried my best. Best? How can we let the Prido family think we are not good enough for them? Don't take it too hard, Diego. Hmm? I just don't understand. What is it with Diego? Why does he keep doing such stupid things and acting like a fool? I do like him, but why couldn't he be more like Zara? Brave and courageous. Oh, oh well. Lolita! Hey, Lolita! Who's that calling? Is that you, Bernard? Yeah, oh, me and Diego, we're going for a ride. Do you want to come? Yes, okay, Bernard. We're coming into a town, Lolita. Wow! That was a very clever trick to get rid of Bernard, Diego. He was supposed to be coming with us. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't you think this town looks exciting, Lolita? What? I'm thirsty. Can we stop, please? Me too. Why don't we try and get something to drink over there? Whoa! You know, it's funny, Lolita. This town is governed like ours by the Spanish army, but the atmosphere is so different here. You think with such high taxes, they wouldn't be able to enjoy themselves. Yet everybody seems so cheerful. We have Senor Santos to thank for that. Senor Santos? Well, you two must be strangers around these parts if you never heard of Senor Santos. <laughs> yes, we're from Santasco. Oh, yeah, I know Santasco well, but let me tell you, this town pays the lowest taxes around here because of our mayor, Senor Santos. But surely Commander Raymond would make him pay the same money as the other towns. Well, he's tried to make us pay more money, but Senor Santos refuses. He says the townspeople can't afford to pay such high taxes. 
Wow, your mayor must be a brave man to stand up to Commander Raymond in the army like that. Senor Santos is a wonderful man. He really cares about this town and all the people that live in it. Yeah, you could say that again. He must have spent a small fortune of his own money on rebuilding the town after the big earthquake last year. Hmm. <laughs> You know, it's funny, we seem to be talking a lot about Senior Santez today. Huh? Yeah, some other people were in here earlier asking about him, too. Hey, that's them over there. Diego! It's Gabriel and Gonzalez. Funny, they're not wearing uniform. What are they up to? I don't know what you're worrying about, Diego. Gabriel and Gonzalez have probably just come here to enjoy themselves on their day off. It's a friendly town. I hope so, Lolita. But something about them being here bothers me. Huh? Diego, stop! What's the matter? Isn't that Bernard over there? Yay! <laughs> oh, Bernard! <laughs> Hi, Lolita! Well, my, my, who is this young lady, Bernard? I had to help her. She had cramp in her leg. I saved her from drowning! Right, Gina? Yes, Bernard. Oh, so your name is Gina, is it? That's a beautiful name. Let me introduce you. This is Diego. Oh, you were telling me about Diego and Lolita. Hi, I'm Gina Santes. <laughs> Gina Santes. Are you by any chance related to Senior Santes, the mayor? Yes, he's my father. Have you met him? No, not yet. But so many people in the town admire and look up to him. He really must be a wonderful man. Yes, and he must have a lot of courage to stand up to Commander Raymond. If we were to meet him, maybe some of that courage would rub off on somebody else I know. Oh, don't, Lolita. I know. Why don't you both come round to my house for dinner tonight with Bernard? Yeah, you see, Gina already invited me round for saving her life. I don't know, Gina. Please? Oh, come on. Let's go, Diego. Shall we? Hey, Gina! Gina, can I talk to you? I have something your father What is see. it? What's the matter? Look, I found these fish. What happened to them? Oh, my, I've never seen fish look like that before. I found them like this, dead and covered in blotches. There are lots more floating in the sea out there near the whale rock. Will you tell your father about this, please, Gina? Hmm. You can stop here, Diego. This is my house, Bernard. Wow! What beautiful roses, Gina. Yes, they are. My mother loved them. My father started taking care of them after she died. Your father looks after all these roses? They're so beautiful. He really must be a wonderful man. He is. You will have to forgive the simple food, my friends. But since my wife died three years ago, it's been up to Gina, myself, and our servant Ed to cook. I'm not very good, I'm afraid. I thought it tasted great, Senor Santes. Ed's the best cook in the house, though. Oh, and don't forget you have to show your father those strange fish, Gina. Oh, yeah. Strange fish? Yeah, one of the old fishermen found a lot of dead fish out near Whale Rock. Oh. Look, father. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh! Huh? Father, what happened? Uh, I don't really know. I think I must have drunk too much wine or something. Are you all right? You look very pale, Senor Santos. Yes, my head hurts, Lolita. I don't feel very well at all, in fact. I'm very sorry to spoil the dinner, but you'll have to excuse me. Father! It's a shame Gina's father got sick like that. I thought we were having such a good time. Yes, I know. He really seemed to be enjoying himself until Gina showed him those fish. Huh? Whoa! Diego, what's the matter? Bernard, will you take Lolita home? There's something I have to do. Diego! Well, who would have thought that I would bump into you here, Diego? <laughs> ah, you know the wine here is very good today, my friend. <laughs> It's good because he knows I'm going to end up paying for it. What was that you said, huh? Oh, nothing, Sergeant. So tell me, what brings you to this town? Oh, I'm on a very special mission to investigate the mayor of this town. <laughs> oh, really? Why? 
The man is a real nuisance to the army. We've been trying to find out if there's anything in his past that will make him look bad. And did you find anything, Sergeant? I'll say that we found something. We found out that he used to transport weapons and poison for the Spanish army. <laughs> poison? At this very moment, the commander and Lieutenant Gabriel are at his house, threatening to expose him to all the people. I've got huh? to go. Hey, come back. You haven't paid for the wine yet, Diego. No, 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 I told you I will not raise the taxes. I don't think you have much choice, senor. You can't just leave those bottles in the sea. The poison is leaking out. Fish have died already. It's spreading. You'll have a scandal on your hands. Let's not forget you helped put those barrels there, Senor Santos. Not really is in your own interest to raise those taxes. Why? You wouldn't want your daughter and the townspeople to find out that you're not quite the wonderful man they thought you were. You'll do as you're told, if you know what's good for you. Huh? Gina. You'll not get away with this. Yes, I, I'm all right. I'll bid you good evening, Senor Santos, but let's hope the next time we meet you'll have the sense to change your mind. <coughs> Keep an eye on Santos. He's smarter than he looks. Yes, sir. Father, what poison were those men talking uh, about? Were you listening? <coughs> Gina, it's no good if you overheard some of the argument with Commander Raymond. I cannot hide the truth from you any longer. Go on. Well, when I was younger, I ran a shipping company. We carried grain and foodstuffs all over the world. It was a good company, and I was proud of it. But one day, I agreed to carry a secret cargo for the Spanish army. It was weapons and barrels of lethal poison. <gasps> That's terrible, Father. How could you help the army like that? It wasn't my fault. The army didn't tell me the barrels contained poison. I didn't find out until the ship was at sea. So Gonzalez was right. But it gets worse, Gina. There was a storm. The ship sank. It went down near the whale rock. The army said the barrels were sealed. They said there was no danger. But I think the poison has started to leak out. But, Father, that poison could affect the whole of the town. Raymond won't do anything about it. He's threatened to tell the town it's my fault. Ah, Gina, please forgive me. No, no, I can't believe it. Gina, darling, please don't look at me like that. No, I hate you, I hate you. Gina, come back. Gina, please. Diego. I'm sorry, Senor Santos, but I overheard everything. Gina's really upset. Let me try to talk to her. Gina! Gina! Uh. I understand how you must feel, Gina, but try to see how hard it was for your father to tell you everything. No, it's not fair. He's been lying to me in the town for too long, Diego. But you've got to understand how sorry your father is, Gina. Look at the way he's trying to make it up to the town by being such a good mayor. It's getting late now. You should let me take you back home. No! I don't want to go home! All right, you can come back and stay at the hotel tonight. I'll send word to your father to let him know that you're safe. Diego! 
Lolita, what's the matter? What's all the noise about? What is it? It's your father. He, um... Early this morning, Senior Sanders rode out on his own to the Whale Rock to try and stop the barrels leaking any more poison. He went alone? Oh, I'm sorry, Gina. I tried to stop him, but he told me to give you this and said he hoped you'd forgive him. Lolita, have you seen how rough the sea is this morning? He could be killed! We've got to try and do something to help him before it's too late. We'll ask the fishermen if they'll take us out in one of their boats. Come on! I'm sorry, senor. You can offer me all the money you want, but there's no way I'm taking my boat out in that sea today. Uh, you think I'm crazy? But Senor Santos needs help, please. <gasps> Senor Santos? Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? You mean you will take us out? For Senor Santos, of course. Come on. No one is allowed to put to sea. This is an order of Commander Raymond. Now move along, uh -huh. everyone. What's going on? We're here to arrest Senor Santez, the mayor, for deliberately dumping barrels of poison into the sea. Huh? Senor Santez didn't deliberately dump that poison at all. It's the Spanish army's fault. You're trying to pass the blame. It's a lie, and you know it. Be quiet. Now move along, everyone, and no one will get hurt. You can't do this. Uh, don't be a fool. Yeah, get off me! Oh. You people are trying my patience. Now, if anyone else makes a move, I will kill them. Poor Diego. But then he really shouldn't have run off and left me with that wine bill to pay yesterday, huh? Somehow, I don't think Santos will be returning from that raging sea. What can we do? Gina, where are you going? You have to let me go and try and help my father. Didn't you hear me? I said if anyone moved, I'd kill them, and that includes you. No! Oh. Gabriel, you can't. Oh. Look, everyone, look who it is! Zorro. It's Zorro! Oh. I knew he'd come. Well, don't just stand there looking at him, you fools! Go on, shoot him! Huh? Yeah, you show him, Zorro! You'd better hurry, Lolita. Thank you, Zorro. Come on, quickly! This is too dangerous for you, Gina. Wait here with Bernard. We'll bring your father back safely. Okay. Come on! You fools, stop him! They're trying to help Santos! You should learn to mind your own business, Zorro! So should you, Gabriel. On guard! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <It's> on! <laughs> Give me that! <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> Take that! Zorro! Ha! I've killed Zorro! Huh? Drop your sword, Gabriel. Go on, throw down your saber and leave quietly. <laughs> no! Yay! <laughs> Go on, get out of here! <gasps> Gonzalez, will you do me a favor? Uh, yeah, of course, mister. I want you to forgive Diego for not paying your wine bill at the bar last night. Oh, sure, Zorro, anything. Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> Adios, my friends. Bye, Bye No wonder Lolita's in love with him. Look, everybody! They've rescued Senor Santos. We've got rid of all the poison barrels as well. Yes, Gina. I've made up for my mistakes. Oh, Father. Father.
father? Oh, Gina, I'm so sorry to have upset you. No, I should be sorry for saying I hate you. Hmm. <laughs> I must apologize to all of you for putting your lives at risk. Gabriel was trying to make out that the poison was all your fault, but Diego explained that it was really the Spanish army who were to blame. And you showed how much you cared about the town and the sea by going out on your own to try and save them. You're the best mayor a town could have, Senor Sanchez. Well, thank you, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> oh, what happened to Diego, Bernard? Huh? Oh, well, we completely forgot about Diego. Hey! Hey! Can somebody give me a hand up? Oh. Oh, I don't believe it. You all forgot about me. Oh, dear. Well, at least you've made a friend, Diego. Huh? <laughs> 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 You'd be forgiven for thinking you were seeing double in next week's exciting adventure of Zorro. But there are two Zorros as Diego and Bernard join forces to fight the evil Drago and his band of cutthroats. This time, they have to battle against the mysterious powers of the magic ruby. Zorro fights for his life amongst the sails and rigging, while below on deck, Lolita must pray for the safe return of Zorro.